Oh, Yandere Simulator, a game that was once respected when it was released back in 2014. But today, I'm gonna explain to you why it is a complete mess. Let's begin by just looking at the launcher. The launcher shows us a terrible idle animation of our anti-hero. It is a single loop and it's pretty obvious when the loop stops. So already off the bat, the animation in the launcher is terrible. So it's not a good first impression. Now let's go in the game. Also, I'll talk about the assets later in the video. To begin, the game lets you choose which gender you want your crush to be. But even though there's the option to choose female, it's not included in the game yet. And it has been like that for months, so off the bat there's no reason to have this option. So we start with the intro, which explains to us that our main anti-hero is dead inside. And that her crush doesn't make her feel dead inside. And that's about it. Which is a boring lazy fucking intro. And for some reason you can customize your panties which is fucking weird as fuck since all the characters are in high school. And then we move on to gameplay. After six years of development, there is still not even the first rival, there is still remotely no story except for the intro, and there is still nothing to do inside of the game, at least not much whatsoever. Not only that, but this game manages to run at around 52 frames per second when I'm in the crowded area and my graphics card is also a RTX 20S with an i9 9900K. In comparison I can play Battlefield 1 at at least 80 FPS on Ultra but I can't play a 2014 game at 60 frames. The NPCs also have awful animation since they're all synchronized together which looks just terrible. They are also incredibly dumb, sometimes just clipping into other NPCs or sometimes just flipping through walls and sometimes just push you when they're the one that walked into you first. There's also the fact that this game is just incredibly creepy and weird since you can take panty shots of uh, high schoolers. Finally, there's also the fact that the characters have no personality whatsoever. Our main entire hero is just dead inside, that's her only character trait. And the reason to love someone is just because she doesn't want to feel dead inside. So not only do I not care at all about the main anti-hero, but I don't care about her fucking senpai either. Even if our main anti-hero has a shitty personality, her senpai doesn't have one at all. And after six years, he still doesn't have one either. You can't even interact with him, know more about him, because the game just sets you in a weird love mode that makes you unable to do anything except walk around. So I don't care about neither of them, the game runs terribly, this game really doesn't have any objective at all, it's been six years since it's been created, and on top of that it's just weird as hell. So all in all there's no reason for anyone at all to play this. But let's move on to something else. Yandere Dev. Not only does he barely support the game, but he also adds a lot of features instead of finishing slash fixing the ones that are already currently in the game. A great example is Snap Mode, which he is working on. And there's no reason for it to work since there's not even a rival that's finished. And there's not even a story except for the intro. But no, let's go work on Snap Mode because that adds a lot to the game. He also cannot take criticism for shit, he also lies a lot. That includes him saying that the Unity assets he used uh, were copyrighted by him and that he modified them. When the only thing he actually changed was a hair color and that's about it. He changed pretty much nothing else. He then writes a 3100 words post playing the victim the entire time. When we know damn well that he ain't the victim in all of this. Lovesick aka Love Letter 
is a game that's been worked on for about three weeks now. And in three weeks, Yandere Dev said to the creator of Love Letter to stop working on the game because it's ruining his life, which is not only a pathetic attempt at canceling someone, it just shows that Yandere Dev doesn't care about improving his game. It just shows that he only cares about his game not having any competition whatsoever and he just wants his game to be the only one of its kind which is not even that much of an original idea since this game is heavily based on persona and on hitman he's also being abusing the copyright system on youtube to silence people which is what happened to game sloth or however you say that my bad if i say it badly but that's what happened to him. That's what happened for almost all of his videos. He had to purge them all because of Yandere Dev. So all in all, he's just a childish, terrible, 31-year-old man. All in all, Yandere Simulator is never going to be finished. People should move on from it and just leave the game in the dust since the creator of it just doesn't give a shit about it and just wants to be a public figure because he streams on Twitch way too much and doesn't do anything else. Works about 5 seconds per day on the game. Probably. I don't know. He really doesn't deserve much support on Patreon because honestly he bought two Switches with that money instead of actually putting it in the game. So in conclusion. Stay away from the game. He's at it again. He won't let the drama fucking die. It was practically this close to death. And he he was like, no. Let's bring more drama. Yeah, the red devil would rather waste his time writing a 3,000 word post instead of finishing his game, which he's been developing for six years shows how much he really cares about it at this point and for a while he's pretty much just become but a complete clown and no one can take him seriously no matter what he says